you wrote that the best current theories of human language are arguably large language models. So this has to do with form. It's a kind of a big theory. and uh, But the reason it's arguably the best is that it, it does the best at predicting what's English, for instance. It's it's like incredibly good, you know, it, it better than any other theory. It's so, you know, but you know, we don't, you know, there's, it's not sort of, there's not enough detail. In, well, it's opaque. Like there's not, you don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. It's, it's, a, it's another black box. But I think it's, you know, it is a theory. What's your definition of a theory? Because it's a gigantic, uh, it's a gigantic black box with, you know, a, a very large number of parameters controlling it. To me, theory usually requires uh, a simplicity, right? And well, I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being loose there. I, I think it's a you know, it's not a, it's not a great theory, but it's a theory. It's a good theory in in one sense, in that it covers all the data. Like anything you want to say in English, it does, and so that's why it's that's how it's arguably the best. Is that no other theory is as good as a large language model in, in predicting exactly what's good and what's bad in English. You know, it, it, you, now you're saying is it a good theory? Well, probably not. You know, because I, I want a smaller theory than that. It's too big. I agree. You could probably construct mechanism by which it can generate a simple explanation of a particular language, like a set of rules, something like a de I mean, it could, could generate a, a dependency grammar for a language, right? Yes. It, you could probably, mm -hmm. uh, you could probably just ask it <laughs> <laughs> about itself. Well, you know, that's, I mean, that presumes, and, and there's some evidence for this, that, that, that lar some large language models are implementing something like dependency grammar mm -hmm. inside them. And so there's work from a guy called Chris Manning and colleagues over at um, Stanford mm -hmm. in, in, in natural language. And they looked at, I don't know how many large language model types, but certainly BERT and some others where, and, and where, where you do some kind of fancy math to figure out exactly what the sort of, what, what kind of abstractions of representations are going on. And they, and they were saying it does look like dependency structure is, is what they're constructing. It doesn't, like, so it's actually a very, very good map. So it's kind of a, they are constructing something like that. Um, does it mean that, you know, that they're using that for meaning? I mean, pr probably, but we don't know. You write that the kinds of theories of language that LLMs are closest to are, are called construction-based oh. theories. Can you explain what construction-based theories are? It's just a general theory of language such that uh, there's a form and a meaning pair for um, for lots of pieces of the language, and so it's 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 primarily usage based. Is a construction mm -hmm. grammar. It's just it's trying to deal with the things that people actually say, actually say, and actually write. And so that's it's a usage based idea. And w what's a construction? Well, a construction is either a, a simple word, so of a, a, like a, a morpheme plus its meaning, or a combination of words. It's basically it's combinations of words, like the the rules. So, but it's it's um. It's uh, un unspecified as to what the form of the grammar is under underlyingly, and so I I would I I would argue that the dependency grammar is maybe the the right form to use for the types of construction grammar. Construction grammar typically um, isn't kind of formalized quite, and so maybe the formalization a formalization of that it might be in dependency grammar. Uh, I mean I I would think so, but. I mean, it, uh, it's up to people, other researchers in that area, if they agree or not. So, well, do you think that large language models understand language? Are they mimicking language? I guess the deeper question there is: Are they just understanding the surface form, or do they understand something deeper about the meaning that then generates the form? I mean, I would argue they're doing the form. They're doing the form, doing it really, really well. And uh, are they doing the meaning? No. Probably not. I mean, there's lots of these examples from various groups showing that they can be tricked in all kinds of ways. They really don't understand the the meaning of what's going on. And so there's a lot of examples that he and other groups have given, which just which show they don't really understand what's going on. So you, you know the Monty Hall problem is this silly problem, right? Where, you know, if, if uh, you have three door, it's, it's let's make a deal is this old game show and there's three doors and there's a prize behind one and there's some junk prizes behind the other two and you're trying to select one. And if you 
you know, he knows, Monty, he knows where the target item is, the good thing, he knows everything is back there. And you're supposed to, he, he gives you a choice, you choose one of the three, and then he opens one of the doors and it's some junk prize. And then the question is, should you trade to get the other one? And, and the answer is yes, you should trade because he knew which ones you could turn around. Mm -hmm. And so now the odds are two thirds, okay? Um, and then you just change that a little bit to the large language model. The, the large language model has seen that, that, that explanation so many times that it just, if you change the story, it's a little bit, but it make it sound like it's the Monty Hall problem, but it's not. <laughs> you just say, oh, um, there's three doors and one behind them is, is a good prize and there's two bad doors. I happen to know it's behind door number one. The good prize, the car, is behind door number one. So I'm going to choose door number one. <laughs> Monty Hall opens door number three and shows me nothing there. Should I trade for door number two? Even though I know the good prize in door number one. And then, and then the large language model say, yes, you should trade because it's a, it's, it just goes through the 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 forms that it's seen before so many times on these cases where it yes you should trade because you know your odds have shifted from one in three now to two out of three to being that thing it doesn't have any way to remember that actually you have a hundred percent probability behind that door number one you know that that's not part of the of the the scheme that it's seen hundreds and hundreds of times before and so you, it can't you can't even if you try to explain to it that it's wrong that they can't do that it'll just keep giving you back the the, the problem. But it's also possible that a large language model would be aware of the fact that there's sometimes over-representation of a, of a particular kind of formulation, mm -hmm. and it's easy to get tricked by that. And so you could see if they get larger and larger, models be a little bit more skeptical. So you see a uh, over-representation. So like you, it just feels like form can, training on form can go really far in terms of being able to generate uh, things that look like the thing understands deeply the underlying world world model mm -hmm. of the kind of mathematical world, physical world, psychological world that would generate these kinds of sentences. It just feels like you're creeping close to the meaning part. Easily fooled, all this kind of stuff, but that's humans too. So it just seems really impressive how often it seems like it understands concepts. I, I mean, you don't have to convince me of that. I'm I am very very impressed. But does it does do? I mean, I you're you're giving a possible world where maybe someone's going to train some other version such that it'll be somehow abstracting away from types of forms. I, I mean, I don't think that's happened. And so, well, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm not saying that. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think when you just look at anecdotal examples mm -hmm. and just showing a large number of them where it doesn't seem to understand, yeah, and it's easily fooled. Yes, that does not seem like a scientific, um, well, the data-driven like analysis of like how many places is a damn impressive. Oh, oh no, in terms uh, of meaning and understanding, oh, and how many places is easily fooled, and like that's not the inference. Yeah. So I don't want to make that the inference. I don't. I wouldn't want to make was that inference. The inference I'm trying to push is just that is it is it like humans here? It's probably not like humans here. It's different. Well, so humans don't make that error. If you explain that to them, they're not going to make that error. You know, they don't make that error, and so that's something. It's doing something different from humans are, that they're doing in that case. What, what what's the mechanism by which humans figure out that it's an error? I'm just saying the error there is like if I explain to you there's a hundred percent chance <laughs> that the car is behind this case, th th this door. Will you do you want to trade? People say no, but this thing will say yes because it's so trick. It's a, that that trick. It's so wound up on the form that it's you know, that that's an error that a human doesn't make, which is kind of interesting. Less likely to make, I should say. Yeah, should less say. likely. Less because likely. like humans well, are very. Oh yeah. I mean, you're asking, you know, you're asking humans to, you're asking a system to understand 100%, like you're asking some mathematical concepts. And so like... Look, the places where large language models are, the form is amazing. So l let's go back yes, to yes. nested structures, center embedded structures. Okay, if you ask a human to complete those, they can't do it. Neither can a lar large language model. They're just like humans in that. If you ask, if I ask a large language that's model- That's fascinating, yeah, by the way. That, that's- The central true. embedding. Yeah, the central embedding. The central embedding is, is, is struggles with- Just like humans, exactly like humans. Wow. Exactly the same cool. way as humans. They can, And that's not trained. So they do exactly, so so that is the similarity. So, but then it's, it's that's not meaning. 
right? This is form. But when we get into meaning, this is where they get kind of messed up. When you start just saying, oh, what's behind this door? Oh, it's, you know, this is the thing I want. Humans don't mess that up as much, you know. Here, they, they, the form is, it's just like, the form of the match is amazing, mm. similar, uh, without being trained to do that. I mean, it's trained in the sense that it's getting lots of data, which is just like human data, but it's not being trained on, uh, you know, bad sentences and being told what's bad. It just can't do those. It'll actually say things like, those are too hard for me to complete or something, which is kind of interesting, actually. Kind of, how does it know that? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it really often doesn't just complete sense. It off, very often says stuff that's true. Mm -hmm. And sometimes says stuff that's not true. And almost always the form is great. Yeah. But it's still very surprising that with really great form, it's able to generate a lot of things that are true based on what it's trained on yes, and so on. Yes, yes, So it's not just it's not just form that is generating, it's mimicking true yes, statements. That's right, that's right. I from the internet. Right. I yeah, guess yeah. I guess the underlying idea there is that on the internet truth is overrepresented yeah. versus falsehoods. Yeah, I think that's probably right. Yeah. So, but the, the the fundamental thing is trained on. You're saying is just form. And it's really I think so. Present. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, well, that's a sad. If that's to me, that's still a little bit of an open question. I probably lean agreeing with you, uh, especially now you just blown my mind that there's a separate module in the brain for language versus thinking. Maybe there's a fundamental part missing from the large language model approach that lacks the thinking, the reasoning capability. Yeah, that's what this group argues. So the, the same group, uh, Federenko's group, has a recent paper arguing exactly that. There's a guy called Kyle Mahuel, who's here in Austin, Texas, actually. He's an old student of mine, but he's a faculty in linguistics at Texas, and he was the first author on that. Yeah, that's fascinating. Mm -hmm. Still, to me, an open question. Yeah. What do you are the interesting limits of LLMs? You know, I I don't see any limits to their form. <laughs> their form is impressive. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much. I mean, it's close to. Being well, perfect. you said ability yeah. to complete central embeddings. It's yeah, it's that's... just the same as humans. It seems the same. As but that's humans. not perfect, right? It should. That's be able good. To... No, oh. but I want to be like humans. I, I'm trying to. I want a model of humans. But <laughs> but but you, oh wait 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 oh so perfect to use is uh as close to humans as possible. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. But you should be able to, if you're not human, you're like, you're superhuman, you should be able to complete central embedded sentences, right? I mean, that's the the mechanism is, is if it's modeling something, I think it's kind of really interesting that it can't. That's really interesting. That it's that's more really like, like yeah. I think it's potentially underlyingly modeling something like what the, the way the form is processed. The form or, of human language. Yeah, the way and that- how, you, And the, how humans process the yes, language. Yes, I think that's plausible. And, and how they generate language. Process yeah. language and generate language, that's fascinating. Yeah. So in that sense, they're perfect. 